Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Factorio. My voice is mostly back to normal so we can do more recording, oh yeah. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place an electric mining grill over here for a bunch of coal. So that we can finally get some coal power automated. Who doesn't like that, alright? And we'll continue to collect more coal because obviously we still have our... Uh, our little boilers over here, and they will need some refueling. I'd say in the near future, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're going through it at a fast rate. That one is being fully used, apparently. Apologies for that. Just my computer being annoying. There we go. We've got a fairly regular like coal supply coming out over there. The iron supply is backing up massively. What I have done in the meanwhile is create more belts a, an absolute ton of them so that's gonna be uh, interesting we're gonna start like connecting this up and we're gonna use the splitter that we have it's not gonna be a very pretty solution for now but we're we're working on it you know we'll make it pretty eventually I also did kind of accidentally injure the belts a little oops But yeah, we're going to split these up and hopefully it should split them up roughly evenly. I will remove like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're complaining about my video memory for whatever reason. Like, you should have no reason to complain, game. But no, it's going to be annoying. We'll grab those steel, uh, those iron plates while we can. Everything here should be just waiting for like... Iron to appear. And we'll quickly watch, like, how that goes. You know, if there's anything, like, going significantly wrong here, which I highly doubt. But, you know, if it for some reason doesn't want to pick up on this, then that's okay. But it should all split on, like, the same side of the belt. And they can grab it from both sides, so that's great. We've got some coal coming in, finally. It's going to take a long time for that to really back up. But it does seem to evenly split, which is good. You know, it seems to remember like, oh yeah, this part of the belt, I last split that over there, so we're gonna, now going to throw it over there, you know, that sort of thing. So that's going to keep our refineries restocked. I've also gone ahead and I've placed a fast inserter over here, you can see it's spinning like crazy. Which is good, because, you know, I would like more plates to be caught. We're just going to increase the, like, the size of our backlog there. It's because it means there's going to be a little, a, a couple more steel belts, you know. They'll be in a holding pattern for the, uh, the thing to grab them. I might actually place a second one down. And then make, like, another iron chest. That might actually not be a bad idea. There we go. And that will basically be our collection point for now. If we press Alt, we can see the detailed information, although we don't really need any detailed information right now, because we know this is just going to be like producing iron. But yeah, this will be a nice place for us to... I will be right back. This is getting annoying. Right, there we go. We're back. Everything should be fine. I don't know what it is, like... Computer's complaining, even though it's got plenty of, like, virtual memory left. No. We can't do this because of... Nah. Oh, well. Let's get back to science and things, because I would like to start on the main bus. Also, build me science. Yes. Science is good. I want automation, too. I should also probably start putting you down. Hello, I would like you to produce me... Oh, wait, we already have one like that, yeah. I'm a genius. Right, you get back here then. Excellent. I could automate this now, but we're not going to do that here. This is just a temporary guy. He's like, hey, build me some iron wheels, will you? And then with that, we could just temporarily put one down here and be like, hey, I'm going to give you this. And I also happen to have a bunch of iron gears. You should probably make some science with that. Because science is pretty alright. You know, we're gonna need it. A lot. In the game, so... Might as well get some temporary science production going. Oh good, you're... You're out of coal again. 
don't know what it is with that boiler, but it seems to run out of coal consistently. Why are you not able to... Oh, I, I, I see. I get it. Right, I am a silly, silly person. I didn't hook you up to the entire electrical grid. Yes, that explains a whole lot. I'm smart. Trust me. Here you go. Enjoy science. Yeah. Science. It's pretty good. Pretty useful as well. Good stuff. Science. Now that's going to keep the mining going for a while. We're going to quickly run over, probably get, grab some more iron plates, although we really need some more copper, actually. Just uh, just have that backlog there, you know. Just in case. Could start automating the copper soon, but honestly, we don't really need that much copper yet, so. Besides, this is doing, doing just fine for now. I've always found in this game that you're going to need a crap ton more iron than you will, like, anything else. Like, just unreasonably so. Of course, we can use our belts to run along. It's great. There we go. Let's get you in there. Let's get you in there. We'll be automating that at some point as well. Obviously. I mean, we can't just be doing manual science for the entire game. Oh, no. No. We're gonna have some fun with that at some point, but for now, we're gonna make sure that our smelting area is well established. You know, seems to be doing a decent job for now. Got ourselves plenty of iron plates. We've got over a thousand right now, so we are pretty... doing pretty good. We'll just make ourselves a bunch of iron gear wheels for the extra science. So that we can just walk away and let things happen on their own. And then we'll probably start just working on our main bus. We could expand this area a little bit. Although, right now, I don't think we really need to. You know, we don't have a main bus set up yet, so we don't have a huge requirement for a logistical chain. You're doing alright, that's good. You're out of stuff. There you go, have some gears. And have some plates as well. The more science, the better. Not sure that might be enough to get us automation. Now, the more automation research we do, the easier it will be for us to... Basically... Get ourselves a... Uh, a more self-sustaining like, crafting line. You can craft something that requires up to two ingredients. The higher like rating assembly machine we get, the easier and the better that'll be. There you go, and you really are going through so much. Why are you boiling so much, whereas he's like barely boiling anything? Are you just supplying everything? I mean, that's fine. Don't get me wrong. But it's just a bit annoying. Let's make ourselves some underground belts. And then we'll probably, like, move these radars pretty soon. They are doing a good job of scanning, but they are kind of in the way. What I'm probably going to do is we're going to, like, maybe run a splitter off here. Maybe just have, like, a separate thing. I don't know. But either way, I would like a line of coal to go down here so I don't have to worry about refueling this anymore. Then we only have to worry about making sure that that line will have some copper with it. Yeah, you know what? Just get over here. We'll, put, we'll leave one there, and we'll put one over there. There we go. That will do just fine. And that can go, like, over there. And then we'll have uh, two regular inserters, I think. We don't really need anything too large. And then we could have... Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's just say for the sake of it, we're going to have another underground belt over there. We'll have, like, a parallel belt. And that is just going to be a dedicated coal 
going towards the power plant. There we go. Obviously, to go full circle, we'll make an electric mining drill, so we're using electricity to mine coal to get electricity. There we go. Industrious. That should... Hopefully, in some way, like, take the pressure off of us. With regards to refilling all this. We'll go and put another electric pole over here, there we go. Just to make sure they have what they need. You are going through coal like it's going out of style. Hopefully that should be enough of a coal supply to keep you going. I mean, it is going to back up soon, so... We'll just keep an eye on, just make sure everything's going alright. Like I said at the beginning of this series, don't expect optimal play. I am not an optimal player of this game, I'm just looking to have fun. Hopefully you're having fun. There will be more videos of this, don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot more now that I'm actually able to talk again. Oh, it's great. There will also be longer videos so we can actually get something done in an episode. I'll also start exploring, like, when should I cut an episode, you know. That is a worthy discussion to have. Of course, feel free to chip in if I'm like showing you things that you'd rather not see or that you've seen like a million times and like no why are you showing me this ah you know preferably a bit more polite than just ah right, there we go get some more copper just just get it because we are going to need it eventually we're going to check up on our science now and we'll make sure that we get some more automation researched People were probably like face palming at how slow I'm going. And, oh, I would have had blue science by now. I'm just playing for fun. No, I don't care if I rush blue science or. God. Whatever the hell they turned science into in the time that I wasn't playing. They've clearly done something with it. You know what? I'm getting a bit disappointed by the lack of iron on this belt. We're gonna make some more electric mining things. How are our steam engines doing? We do have like plenty of capacity for now, but obviously we will have to have more of them. Hello Automation 2, you're finally researched. I would like lab research speed, more efficient research practice, that means we're... Yeah, but it's a hundred science packs. Like, two different science packs. Uh, I'd have to handcraft those. We're going to go for steel processing, I suppose. Because why not? Also, there's still a boiler over there. We'll keep that in mind for later. Now, one thing we should probably do is run over here, grab some of these, because, you know, they are useful. There we go, another boiler over there. That's gonna spread out the load a little. It should still be enough steam for everything. I'm pretty sure it's like two to four in this new, like, era of science or whatever you wish to call it. Now, you were just getting drained of all your steam constantly. No wonder that you're working so hard. Thankfully, one inserter is enough to keep it well supplied. Although I also suspect that Nope, this one is not working any harder, despite the fact that there's now, like, four steam engines attached. Oh well, we've expanded the capacity of our electrical grid, so... Time to add some more strain to it, right? Boom. And boom, just... We'll leave it at... Nah. We'll go with three for now. We'll keep, like, one in reserve in case we want to mine something else. There we go. Put a light up here. Because the lights are pretty. I, want, I like seeing what I do at night. You know. Oh, dear. Uh, that might be a bit of an issue. We can fix that, though. By doing that. Crisis averted. Though it's not really much of a crisis. Just figure, you know... With the limited, like, furnaces that we currently have, it's probably better to just keep it all on one side. You know, it's not like it's going to matter much. 
But yeah, that is our... That is our mining output upgraded a fair bit. Pretty sure we can hit like P. Yeah. We are now producing like 256 units of ore per minute. I like it. Also, just quickly check the map. Is that an island? No. I was going to say, if that's an island with biters on it, we found Britain. Oh. Uh, it's just a joke. We're getting a lot of iron plates over here. I like it. With a nice, like, backup of coal. We could always, like, lengthen this and increase it. But for now, I think it's, uh... High time we start working on, like, a main belt. Now, this is gonna be, like, the main... Like, the main... The main bus. There we go. I can word. We need more belts. Can do. We've got plenty of loose gears. I'll probably run back up to our factories and we'll get some more. But yeah, the thing is, like, we're, we're gonna have a separate, like, smelting area, which we now have. Or at least the foundation of it. We can always move it around a little bit. And we will have to, once we start, like, upgrading furnaces and whatnot. But for now, this will do just fine. There we go, get some more of you. Get some more science packs as well. The smart man in the lab coat never rests. Clearly. That's going to increase our power drain a little bit further. I'm just curious, like, when are you going to start doing something? Like, this guy is working his butt off. Which is fantastic. And then we've got that one. I was like, eh. Just give me five more minutes. I'll start working in five more minutes. I swear. I promise. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Just... Five more minutes. <laughs> he just goes back to sleep. That is not very useful, sir. But yes, this will basically be our, our main, like, iron belt that will run throughout the entire facility. Take that, Mother Nature. I mean, that works. So instead of having our overflow go into the chests now, or at least some of it will. Just for like ease of use for now. Well that said, I will probably remove the second one. So that more of the iron has a chance to go through. So this is now going to start slowly filling up this belt, which is good. Because that belt is going to be paramount. This is basically going to run through the entire facility. And we will add a splitter every single time that something requires iron. And then we'll have like extra belts running down the middle with extra components like, oh, I don't know. For example, iron gears, you know. We'll have a large belt and a ton of like fabricators and everything that needs like iron gears will have a splitter coming off from there. And we'll combine that onto new belts and everything. And it's going to be, knowing me, it's going to look like crap. I hope you, uh, I hope you're prepared for that. I sure as hell am. But now that we've got assembly machines number two, we can see that they will have a higher crafting speed. Craft ingredients that require up to four ingredients, or rather, craft items with up to four ingredients. And it's going to cost us 44 stars. Iron and nine copper. Ooh, fluid handling. Useful to have. Allows you to get storage tanks and a bunch of barrels and everything. So that's good, but I don't think we're going to need it for now. I would like advanced material processing. Gets us the steel furnace. I believe that is a 3x3. Three three. Wait a second, are we skipping a step? No, no, there we go. That's the electric furnace, right. One second. My apologies for that second interruption. Looks like all the important things are happening today, out of all places. Anyway, yeah. Steel furnace. Required energy consumption? That's... Really? Didn't think it would, but... Uh, fair enough. I 
I might just be remembering wrong. I am probably remembering wrong. It's so long ago. Eh. We could go solar. Source of free electricity, but useless at night. We'd have to have a ton of batteries and charges and whatnot. And we need to start getting a green science belt up at some point. But for now, heavy armor. Turret, you know what? Let's go turrets. Turrets are cool. You know. Who doesn't love guns that shoot on their own? Am I right? Just make sure they don't try to shoot you, is what I'm saying. Right. I was working on these machines, unfortunately, because of all that. Got a bit distracted. Now we can make even faster iron gears. We can still add in modules to improve these as well. Ah, oh, lovely. So now we'll have more science faster. It's like a dream come true, I tell you. Yeah, let's screw it. Let's, let's actually make some more. Because we're going to start working on a bunch of iron gear production soon. We'll also make some inserters to prepare ourselves. We'll grab some more copper, because Lord knows we're going to need more copper eventually. We'll grab some more coal, because hey, I like coal. I like electricity as well, so... Yeah, hey, there you go. Copper belt's like, no, I don't want to work anymore. So we'll just give you more stuff. There you go. Quit complaining. You will do as I ask you to. Another crap ton of iron plates. There we go. That's a healthy inventory. You know what? We need more iron over here. We just do. Like, any way I could, like, take you. Yeah, sure, of course. We can make it happen. It's the only thing we have to keep into account, though. Hmm. Huh. Fair enough. Apparently, you can click on a lap. Lessons learned. Now that's going to be even more iron produced. Yeah. Get us up to, like, 300 production. You know, as soon as you get near 300, you know, things are getting good. We'll put like 18 more science packs in here, because why the hell not? Actually, let's disassemble you now. We'll, we're bringing you with us. We're going on a merry adventure. We should probably start researching like small electric poles. Hello, turret research. Thank you for completing. We're gonna start working on fluid handling, I guess. I could start making green science packs in me belt, or rather in me pocket. Oh, look at that, look at that. The belt is backing up nicely. Yes. I approve. So we're gonna get a splitter over here. We're gonna start working with belts. Now this is gonna be a very straightforward production line. You know, these are going to be iron gears, and literally nothing else. So, thing over there. We'll have an inserter as well. Those are pretty good. And then we'll just keep adding all more things, I guess. That's a fish. We do not need a fish. There we go. We do need more stuff. And then... There we go. That is the very basic, like... Jesus of it. Although, why should I have you running down there? We're not going to have you running up here. We'll keep, like, two spaces free. And then that... Yeah! Lovely, and we just happen to have enough belts. Isn't that cool? Now, of course, we are going to need more power lines. Also, better power lines, because this is not going to be good enough. Put one of you over there, and then, like the rest of the lines can go over here. 
We'll just make a couple more, just to make sure, you know, we can actually link them up. That would be nice. I don't think you get it. There we go. And let us have power! Oh ho! Lovely. Yeah. That is a bad plan. So we're going to make ourselves some fast inserters. You will all work on iron gears. You guys are going to like slowly fill up on things, aren't you? They probably are. So now we literally have our first little production line over here. This is going to be automated and we can just keep expanding this up north. Like the more, st the more stuff we get. It's pretty nifty. This is like the main advantage of having a main bus. And we can now confidently say that we've made a decent start to our main bus. Pretty nice. I like it. Hell, we could even, like, if we so wanted to, like, fill this up on, like, double rows of stuff, we could have uh, a long handed inserter. Insert it on, like, the far side of the belt and then have it curl around so we could just fill it up, but that would be just overkill. We could also just add a splitter in here to balance the outputs and basically make sure that we have stuff on both sides of the line. We could also put one over here. You know, it, w it would work. I just don't think we're going to go and do that right now. Alright, I am very happy to see this. We also have a ton of iron, like, gears being produced now. Which is also really good. No doubt. These furnaces are rather slow. We will have to expand them eventually. I didn't give them enough room, really, to just to properly be... It's fine, we'll, we'll deal with that as it comes. For now, we're alright. What I think I'll do is I'll move the science labs down, so that we can stop running all the bloody way up here. If we do need to do some science, you know, we'll start concentrating it in the same area, at least. This little piggy ran out of copper. Oh, what a disgrace. Yeah, let's try and not waste the progress they've already made. For some reason, it really likes to go halfway. Anyway, I've got some more things to take care of now, so... Despite me saying, like, oh yeah, my voice is back, longer episodes. It's gonna be a bit of a shorter episode. Still trying to figure out, like, what I'm really doing with Factorio, and what I'm gonna end up showing, what I'm gonna end up cutting. Oh dear lord, we've got a... We're a full on, like, the iron belt. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, by all means do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below. Tips for like efficiency and stuff are appreciated, but keep it polite. Subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one folks!